What's up guys, today we're going to be talking about the new assault rifle, the EM2, and we're also going to be talking about the Krig. We're going to compare these weapons, time to kill, and we're also going to take a look at the movement stats. If you want more weapon comparison videos, leave a like on the video and leave a comment on what weapons you want me to compare next. We're going to start out with time to kill. Alright, so if you look at the chart, the EM2 is killing faster than the Krig, out to 38 meters, and then the Krig takes over between 38 meters out to 53 meters. And then beyond that, at long range, the EM2 is killing faster. So when it comes to time to kill, the EM2 is better at long range. And the Krig is only better at mid range, between 38 and 53 meters. We're going to take a look at the movement stats now. We're going to take a look at the ADS, movement speed, and things like that. But before I even get into the ADS and movement speed, we're just going to take a look at the fire rate. The EM2 has one of the slowest fire rates in the game. It's extremely slow. It's even slower than the C58, so it's not very forgiving. You have to be extremely accurate. If you miss any shots, it's going to drop your time to kill significantly. The Krig is significantly faster when it comes to fire rate, so it is more forgiving. Alright, so now we're going to look at the movement stats. So when it comes to ADS, the Krig is faster. The Krig is coming in at 423 milliseconds, which is significantly faster than the EM2. And keep in mind, I'm using the meta loadouts for these weapons. And when you look at movement speed, the Krig also has faster movement speed than the EM2. So in terms of movement speed and mobility, the Krig is a lot faster than the EM2. The EM2 is actually pretty slow when it comes to the movement speed and mobility stats. And even when you put the 3x on it, it has a slower ADS than the Krig. And I want you to take a look at the bullet velocity. When it comes to bullet velocity, the EM2 has significantly better bullet velocity. So the EM2 seems like it would be a better at long range. It looks like a really good long range weapon. It has a fast time to kill and it also has really good bullet velocity. But one thing you have to consider is that the Krig has a lot less recoil than the EM2. The EM2 has a lot of recoil. I'm pretty sure it has even more recoil than the C58. And I'm comparing these weapons with the meta loadouts. You can see the attack that I used in the chart. I'm using the final barrel that you unlock for these weapons which gives it its max damage range and max bullet velocity along with the agency suppressor. Normally I would do a recoil test and compare these weapons when it comes to recoil but honestly I tried to jump into a plunder match and people are just being extremely toxic. I would have people pulling up on me and trying to kill me every time I tried to test the recoil for these weapons so so I really couldn't do a recoil test for these weapons and compare their recoil patterns. There's actually people sweating and plunder which is mind-blowing but in conclusion when you look at these weapons the em2 has better bullet velocity than the krig and it has a faster time to kill at long range so the em2 is better at long range than the krig as long as you can hit your shots that being said the krig is more accurate it has less recoil and it has a faster fire rate so it's more forgiving it also has faster movement speed and faster ads speed so it's snappier and it has better mobility both of these weapons have advantages over the other in different ways so i think you should have a better idea of how you should be using these weapons that's pretty much it for this video leave a like on the video and subscribe thanks for watching i'm out